Hello and welcome. So I have come across this library. It's like admin panel for your Mongoose applications or like essentially anything. So it will just help you add proper layer layers of, um, you know, you know log logins and proper layers of uh, permissions to access your DB. So what you can do is that this application is for uh, this admin JS is essentially for people who actually want to it's like an admin panel so if you can see this is pretty much obvious you can, you can directly go to the database and edit delete add you can do all of the current applications and many 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 more things i will be showing you how to set everything up from express node.js and yeah so follow along and let me know if you guys have any problems before I move forward, I just want to tell you that I have a full course on admin JS on my community on nas.io super programmers community. You'll be getting a discount link in the description. Uh, it will have a full, fully fledged course on admin JS. So please be sure to check that out. Anyways, uh, since I'm just going to show you how it works like, so we can see the demo. So demo would look something like this. Uh, I'm going to press login and here we can just go if you see this is mongo which is what we will be doing in this course so you can just change stuff over here you can do anything that you want to do press save and comment i mean essentially it has it's just very very powerful all right so here are different stuff like prisma there is type om and there's sequelize we will not be covering this in the video but we'll just be covering the mongoose part all right so let's move forward Bef before we start i'll just create a new repository i'm going to call this admin js uh, example application okay and oh oops let me not do that uh, how do i delete this wow i think i messed up Mm, remove uh yep so let me just create new admin js or uh typescript app yeah i think this is good and go to git ignore make it note and yeah i think this is fine uh yeah there you go and I, I'll just press this. So to get your get up thing started, I will just give you a file which will help you set up things. So just do TS config. Actually, you know, don't need you don't need TS config if you ask me. So we can just go to the documentation together and then figure this out. So uh, first things first, you need to do npmi in admin JS. But before that, let me do uh, npm in it okay i'm gonna make this application blah 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 i am gonna change the uh main to app.js i am just comfortable comfortable with app.js i'm not comfortable with anything else um uh, i think yeah, app.js is fine anyways let me do app.js and yeah i think i will need to install a few stuff i will need to install npmi admin express admin uh, npmi admin js and all of that so i am gonna miss this part essentially you know this is npmi i'll just pause and just be right back after i set things up yeah before i do that i will be doing tsc in it which will uh oh i have so i need to move to uh, this thing nvm u16 so I have installed it on my Node.js 16 version. So I'm going to TSC in it, which will essentially add a TS config file. And I'm going to make this thing to app.ts and not JS. Okay, so yeah. So if you can see over here, there's a huge application, huge uh, TS config.json created. Uh, I will just change this thing to this one. I am not going to go through each and every option. So essentially, it's it's just like, you know, the configuration that will work with admin JS. Okay. So, yeah. So let me just move forward. Okay. Let me just move forward and do NPMI uh, admin JS 
and let me just do npmi uh sorry where is this admin.js and express okay so it's gonna give each and every information so i just, just call copy this just essentially add everything up over here okay express admin js of course you will need admin js as well i think i forgot to add yeah just do this as well okay uh there you go all right just press this and it will download stuff for you and you need some more information like we'll just not copy paste everything because i want to show you how everything works and we can go to adapters so we can go to mongoose so so in admin js right so we have two things we have plugins plugin is like you know what kind of language that you want to use if you want to use nest.js if you want to use fastify happy koa there are community plugins adonis js feather js and there's adapters adapters means which type of um, database that you want to create in our case we want to connect mongoose so we'll also do npmi mongo uh, we have to add this package and also we have to do npmi mongoose uh, it's gonna take a while. I don't know why it's taking that much this much amount of time. It shouldn't have taken this much amount of time. But yeah, never mind. Uh NVM U16. Yeah, so I it's gonna take some time. Anyways. Oh wow, it's throwing some kind of error. Okay, never mind. I will just I think this is what is messed up over here. Uh, oops, <laughs> I think let me just copy paste this part and let me delete this. Okay, and add it in JS. Yep, okay, press enter. I think this will be much more quicker. I think I just made an error on that part. See, it also, it also added node modules. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, just, just make sure that you have proper. Yeah. So, I, I think this is fine. Anyways, let's move forward and let's go to the Express application. And all you need to do is just copy paste everything from here. And if you can see, it has everything over here. And if you, so I'm, I'm going to just use TSCI slash slash I W. Uh, I'm going to use W I W. Okay, it's a bit, it will essentially watch uh, your application. Anyway, so it's, it's, they are telling, it's telling that there are some errors, which is, abs.ts could not reserve e okay let me just try ts i think this should work over here no config were found and ts config with a specified path uh okay so if you see over here in my ts config i have given the uh include one is src so i am going to create a folder called src and i'm going to put this app.js in src okay so and my okay let, let's let's try this out okay and i'm going to change this thing to index.js index.ts okay and if you see tsc there you go it automatically created dist and with that if i do node dist index this there you go it, it automatically started this one all right so that means you have set everything up i mean everything should be working for you properly now uh, i just need to set this thing to tsw which will watch i don't know what's happening I think I am, yeah, I forgot to add a dash. So it will just, you know, whenever I do any change, it will automatically compile, compile and it will just, uh, just essentially do everything for me. And I'm going to write npm i node one. That's the save dev. 
okay there you go so uh so i'm gonna write node mon admin sorry dest index.js yep so it's gonna start and it will just whenever there's a change it will automatically change okay so if you see the admin js builder dot router it's essentially what, what's happening over here is that we are just giving admin js it, it can take few options you can just click on this i can go to the interface and check you know there are different options you can give the login path you can give the databases you can give the component loader it's very powerful so like i said over here uh i will just close this part okay close this part as well okay. let, let's work with this okay so let, let let's learn how to set up at uh mongodb over here so i am gonna go to mongoose okay and i don't know if i did npmi mongoose let me just make sure that i did npmi mongoose mm. nvm view 16 npmi mongoose I don't know if I did in PMI Mongoose. Okay. I think this is done. And yeah, and you also need to add one more thing, which is admin JS uh, Mongoose. Okay. I have already done that, so I don't have to do it. Anyways, so that's sorted. And yeah, so after I do that, uh, I will essentially wow it's just doing everything for me automatically anyways so let's move forward and yeah all we need to do is so if you see over here it will take two things admin js mongoose so just this will just you know import this part over here Im import everything as admin js mongoose so all we have to do is just set the register adapter so what we can do is just use admin js dot register adapter and we can pass in two options so one is the database the other one is the resource so the resource will be uh, admin js mongoose dot resource the other one will be database you can click on this register adapter function and check the type of thing that it needs to return and the other one will be database and database will be admin js mongoose dot database okay so essentially it would it should it should work fine but apparently it's not okay so i think you should not do this i think we just import admin js okay i think i did not download mongoose okay let me just let me just download this okay npmi there you go and then we can start restart the server Mm. and let me change this thing to this one and let's save it off at voila it should work fine and your yeah this this is also changed okay and now uh i am gonna use my own mongodb uh there you go one second let me just stop my server so i have connected to my own database over here locally and i am gonna be using this so i am gonna you know uh just click on this i'm gonna click on copy string i will change this off so don't 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 use this okay so i am gonna use also import mongoose uh so i'm gonna write import mongoose from mongoose okay so essentially this will help you get things starting can things getting started up and you just need to await to add mongoose.connect and you we will just copy and oh wow i don't know why 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 it did not copy properly okay at voila this is not gonna work just so you know i will delete it delete everything of once you um you try to log into my account okay so and anyhow if, if i don't change i'll be notified okay so please don't do that anyways so what you need to do is that we need to create an entity now 
so I'll just create a entity let's create an entity with category dot it, it's a model file it's not entity category dot model yeah model dot ts okay so let's create a category i believe it it gave us an example over here i'm just gonna copy paste this example i don't think i have to let let me name this new category new okay okay there you go anyways so let me check so it's connected to test okay so yeah i think this is fine all right so it's connected to test and uh yeah so now what you need to do is mm, yeah okay so it's i mean almost you're done with everything so all you need to do is since you're already exporting this category um uh, not on the express but on the admin js you need to pass your database so database will be mongo so you don't have to pass mongos i guess no you don't have to do that um you just need to pass the resources so it will have resources and it will essentially have a uh, category model so i will do category model and when you do that it's just category over here so what's going to happen is that when ever i do that it will automatically add test and category and now you can add stuff over here you can add the title hello created add and you can do updated add and press save and you can just do edit application hello something like this all right so this video was about just setting up everything from category uh, from you know for admin js and yeah i think i will be deploying this on a github repository you can get you can essentially check out the github repo all right so i'm going to do an initial commit with the name of setting up admin js okay uh i think the organization will be none and publish repository okay i'm gonna keep this private i will share with you guys if you join my community all right thank you see you guys in the next video where we will be learning about more stuff in admin gs like you know how to you know what are actions what are resources what are properties etc all right thank you so much see you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care